hello everyone welcome back to my channel so uh i have i do have updates this morning um i did have my appointment with my endocrinologist this morning and i was hoping for great um feedback however uh it wasn't bad either so let's just call it good since it's right in the middle so he did say that my tsh level did come back a little high therefore he felt it necessary to go ahead and start me off on medication to get that normalized so that it won't get any worse or it won't progress as the time goes by which to be honest with you uh, I would actually prefer that because um, I do have a friend who suffers from um, thyroids and she did actually recommend that I get on the medication as soon as possible if it does come back anywhere uh, higher or lower than normal uh, to avoid uh, any complications or anything like that. And I'm pretty sure my OBGYN would also agree with it because she did want me to go ahead and get that normalized as well and um, present her with the medication that the endocrinologist would be placing me on so that she can go ahead and better prescribe something that's not going to counteract with that. So I do have the appointment with her tomorrow morning at 10, or actually 11. And um, hopefully I get medication from her tomorrow but uh, I will be updating, I will be making another video tomorrow with the results from my endo from the endocrinologist, from the OBGYN and also giving you guys a little bit more information on the medication that the endocrinologist um, prescribed to me as well as the side effects or anything that comes along with that medication. I will be googling that and hopefully I can give you guys a little bit more uh updates and you're gonna be hearing a lot of fighting right now because my dogs are playing and they're loud i'm in the living room so or dining room living slash dining room whatever you want to call it <laughs> anyway um on a good note, uh, my husband did agree to do that Q&A with me on a man's point of view. Uh, so we are going to be having a, we like to call it um, marriage counseling, but what we actually do is we just play poker. <laughs> yeah, we're weird like that. I love it though. I really do love our little sessions, especially because I beat him. I'm so proud of myself. Hello. Okay, so I thought that this time around we can go ahead and do something a little bit different. We can do a chit chat update, get ready with me. Um, getting ready for the day. Whatever that entails. Um, so updates, let's get into it right away. Update from the endocrinologist. I've already give you guys, given you guys that. The medication that he had he's prescribed to me i want to cover this information right here is this right here let's see okay there there it goes it's that right there he actually did give give me a a very very low dosage because apparently my um hyper thyroids are not that are not that hyper <laughs> so he did state that he was going to go ahead and give me a three-month supply, which he did. Excuse my dog. He cries all the time. <clears throat> and he did. Uh, so far, I have not had any negative side effect to this. I've been on this medication for a few days now. The only thing that I did notice that it does do is it, uh, it gives me energy. Weird, right? But anywho, the um, I do not have to see him again until October 1st, which is good. He did request it that I do an ultrasound on my thyroids and more blood work to make sure that they're back to normal. If they're back to normal, then I'm going to be off the medication until it comes back that it's abnormal again, which hopefully I'm able to keep them normalized. Now, uh, I did have someone... Uh, tell me or you mentioned to me that they did have um their thyroids acting up but whenever they got pregnant and they had 
the baby that it went away which kind of gives me a little bit of hope which is good right now on another note my OBGYN I did have my appointment with her on Wednesday and pretty much what she said to me is that so everything on my end is done he already went ahead and he took care of his testing which we should get results tomorrow yay and on another positive note she did tell me on wednesday that we were pretty much waiting on those results from my husband as well as for my next cycle to start in order for me to get on the medication which i kind of figured that that was going to be the case because it every time they put you on some kind of medication for ovulation or like hormones or stuff like that they always wait till after your cycle so i just got the visit from my cycle yay so i can call dr mohan on monday and let her know that we are ready everything that she asked for including the husband's uh, testing is done and out of the way and the cycle already started which for the last couple of months like i've mentioned previously the last couple of months i've only been having it having it for a couple of days so i wouldn't be surprised if it only shows up for a couple of days this time around um the only difference is that this time around um i've had actual um a little bit more symptoms cramping and and stuff like that but other than that um I got it and I'm ready so everything is starting to look good and we're getting ready to to get onto that baby wagon and hopefully I can give you guys the best update ever so we didn't we didn't do the Q&A the husband and I and we haven't had marriage counseling this week so we're gonna see if we can go ahead and get that knocked out of the way this coming week uh, so look forward to that. Um, I am. I do have some questions already for him written down. Did you just steal that from your brother? Go give it back to him. <sighs> My dogs love to fight for their toys, and if one of them plays with the uh, with a certain toy, then he has to go and take it away, brings it, hides it, and then starts playing with it with his other toy. Why? because they're like kids they fight for the same toy they're fighting anywho so those are the updates that i have for this week i do apologize for not uploading this sooner on thursday it was uh fourth of fourth of july so i hope you guys had a great time with your family friends or whoever you spent it with we spent it with our, our family friends and that's what we consider them family friends and it was amazing and i'm still tired and sore from trying to jump on a bowl in a pool and it is not fun actually no it's really fun <laughs> but anywho with that being said let me go ahead and get this video knocked out and posted and hopefully i can give you guys more updates as soon as i get word from my doctor as to what medication she's going to be putting me on i do not believe that i'm going to be paying her another visit soon Ooh, these lights just kind of made me cross-eyed um anywho um i think she's probably once i give her the call and let her know that i started my cycle that she should have my husband's results um by fax sent over to her by monday no later no later than tuesday then she should be able to call in the medication in order for me to get on that once i do have the medication i will go ahead and update you guys let you guys know what exactly any side effects that uh that's related to that different type of medication or if it's making me feel any type of way then I will go ahead and give you guys an update I will go ahead and try to do the Q&A with the husband as soon as possible and up upload that so you guys can get a different perspective on a man's point of view as to everything that we are going through uh, on a side note he actually did wake me up this morning letting me know that he had a dream about a little boy and that he had curly hair and I had curly hair when I was little so it just kind of made me 
a little bit emotional and I mean it doesn't help that I'm on my cycle either so uh, it was very beautiful it was something very a good feeling to wake up to and a good notion for that you know that he had a dream about me and him and our baby and it just it, it fills me with hope so I'm really really looking forward to this uh, everything is finally falling into place and I don't know why I kind of feel like I want to cry right now and okay um everything is falling into place everything is going great and I'm really really excited really really excited and my face looks super white on the camera I don't know why so I'm sorry about that there's nothing I can do about it and I'm just trying to distract from the fact that I'm an emotional wreck I really do hope that the medication does not do that to me but if it does then you guys will go ahead and see hey guys sorry about that my camera died on me I'm always I need to learn and make it a priority to keep this camera charged because yeah leave it to me to do something like that anywho I don't think I had any further updates for the q and I'll be doing it soon hopefully sometime this week sorry I couldn't give you guys a better update as to my get ready I did something simple just concealer on certain places especially my under eyes because these bags are no joke and i'm sure y'all noticed anywho uh aside from that i hope you guys have a great rest of your week uh i look forward to updating you guys on the future uh forthcomings I hope you guys like this video. If you guys have any questions or any concerns uh, in regards to the medicine or the exams and whatnot that I had gone through this week, let me know down below. Uh, I will go ahead and put a description below on the stuff that I actually used on my face because I don't use much, uh, but I do, but not too much. And it's not that cakey. And as you can tell, like now, maybe better in this light and the sunlight. The foundation stick that I use actually does match my skin tone a little bit better. Uh, I love it. Ever since I went to go get a facial um, and the lady recommended this foundation for me, I have... Mm, I'm infatuated with it. I use it as a concealer slash foundation stick and it works amazing. I'll go ahead and link, the, link that down below. Uh, again, I hope you guys have a great week. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel for more updates to come. And look forward to that Q&A with the husband. Now, with that being said, let me go ahead and show you guys what I talk about when I say that my dogs are funny. Okay, hang on. Yeah. Colt, say hi. Ooh, this camera keeps falling. Say hi, buddy. Kalijah. Come here, look, come here. Come here, Kalijah. No, over here. Colt, bark. No? Okay, he has this ball. All right, say bye, guys.